The world is full of mystery and has no end of mysterious things and events that we just simply cannot always explain. In this video, we're going to be looking at just a few of these mysterious things. We are going to be looking at mysterious books and the stories behind them. The book that can't be read, the Voynich Manuscript. The Voynich Manuscript is an illustrated codex and for a long time now, no one has been able to decipher it. The codex itself has been carbon dated to the early 15th century. No one is certain exactly where it was written, but Many speculate that they believe it was written in northern Italy during the Renaissance. The manuscript is named after Wilfred Voynich, a Polish book dealer who purchased the book in 1912. There have been many attempts by the world's leading experts to try and understand and interpret the manuscript, but all have failed. There is well over 200 pages in the manuscript and it is split into six categories. Biology, Cosmology, Astronomy, Botanical, Pharmaceutical and Recipes. The script is also written left to right and has a strong influence from European culture. There's no doubt that the manuscript does say something as it is definitely some kind of language, we just don't understand it and we can't decipher what it says. Possible theories behind the manuscript. Some say the manuscript is little more than an elaborate hook. This is often quickly dismissed as it's just simply seen as too intricate of a hoax. Other theories range from a secret language that was used to keep the author or authors secrets and other theories people put forward is the book is written to keep deep dark satanic secrets, secrets that must not be deciphered. After all these years and so many failed attempts to learn the manuscript's secrets, we are no closer today than we were when we first discovered the book, so perhaps the cryptic writings have served their purpose and kept the secrets of the manuscript safe. What are your thoughts? The Decrells of Gregory the Ninth. The Decrells of Gregory the Ninth is a collection of laws that were put together by Gregory the Ninth. This type of work is very common at the time. However, what makes this one in particular stand out from the rest is the illustrations. The Decrells were designed to be an illustrated manuscript, a type of law document that had never been done before or indeed since. The illustrations are simply amazing in no other words you can use to describe them and are wound together by wording. Every page is illustrated by hand and each page page could take weeks if not months to complete. One of the strangest features of this manuscript is as you begin to scroll through the script you will notice that a lot of the pictures in the manuscript are very odd and they seem very unfitting for the type of book that they're in. Seeming as this is supposed to be a religious setting. The manuscript shows scenes of rabbits decapitating humans, geese hanging wolves and even sexual scenes. All of which is something you would not expect to see in this type of book. This is quite possibly our strangest on the list. The Rohonk Codex is an illustrated manuscript by an unknown author with an unknown text and an unknown language and an unknown writing system that surfaced in Hungary in the early 19th century. The book's origin and the meaning of the text and illustrations have been investigated by many scholars and amateurs with no definitive conclusion. The Codex was named after the city of Rohonk in western Hungary where it was kept until 1838 when it was finally donated to the Hungarian Academy of Sciences. Since its existence became widely known, the Codex has been studied by many scholars and amateurs, but none have succeeded to providing an accepted or convincing translation or an interpretation of any of the text. The Codex has 448 pages, each one having between 9 and 14 rows of symbols, which may or may not be letters, as no one is sure. Besides the text, there are 87 illustrations that include religious military and other scenes. The crude illustrations seem to indicate an environment where Christian, pagan and Muslim religions coexist, as the symbols of the cross, crescent and sun are all present. The number of symbols used in the codex is about 10 times higher than the average known alphabet, but most symbols are used rarely, so the symbols in the codex might not even be a part of an alphabet at all, but maybe more like Chinese writing system. The justification of the right margin would seem to imply the symbols were transcribed from right to left. Study of the paper on which the codex is written shows it is most probably a Venetian paper made in the 1530s, however it may simply have been transcribed from an earlier source, or the paper could have been used long after it was produced. After so many attempts to understand the manuscript and none being successful, the Rohonk Codex is one of the most mysterious books in existence and perhaps will go unexplained forever. What are your thoughts on this? 
So there you have it, three of the world's most mysterious books. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of our videos. Thanks for watching.